today we play Mario Party Superstars, but Luigi does absolutely nothing. All characters are dressed like Luigi, all characters do absolutely nothing in minigames, and all spaces on the board also do absolutely nothing. The meme of Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing has been around for over 10 years, and I hope you enjoy this video. Mario Party is a game that normally doesn't have enough luck in it. So now, the game is pure luck. Wait! Which one of you is Luigi? Wait! Are you all Luigi? <laughs> Luigi normally wins by doing nothing, so let's decide the order of the turns! Luigi is first, which is very fitting since he always wins by doing nothing. Mario is second. Wait, why does he have an L on his hat? Can you believe that this meme has been around for over a decade? Who would have thought that a meme about a video game character could still be relevant? Alright, so let's get started. So every character is going to be doing absolutely nothing, just doing the default option, buying no stars, buying nothing from the shop, just rolling, doing nothing at all in mini games. And when we roll over here, since all the spaces do nothing, you don't see the animation of getting coins or losing coins. It just immediately cuts to the next character. It almost looks like we are cutting out part of the video because it just goes straight to the next character. And look at the Nice little L that I added for Yoshi over here because Yoshi is already a character that's green So I thought what could I do to Yoshi? So I gave him a little L just like the L that we see on Luigi's cap and also on Mario's cap and our minigame is Bowser's Big Blast This is the perfect minigame to start off with all of the characters are just going to do absolutely nothing So they are just going to have to take the default switch so we are going to see who has the best luck and the worst luck when everyone's doing absolutely nothing. Yoshi survives, and then Peach has to wait for the countdown here. She presses down the green switch, and she also survives. And Luigi, who is known for winning by doing absolutely nothing, let's see if he can win. And Luigi does survive. So far, everyone has survived. It is a 50-50 chance if Mario will survive or not. Now let's see. And everyone survives! Everyone is an absolute master of doing absolutely nothing. It looks like we are going to the second round over here. Who is going to get eliminated? What if the game just goes on like this forever? Yoshi pushes down the switch, and he survives again. Okay, that's five people in a row have survived so far. Princess Peach, you are up next, pressing the green switch again, and... Princess Peach is the first one to get eliminated! For some reason, Princess Peach is just always in last place on this channel, and Princess Peach is now getting eliminated first also. Can Luigi continue to be the master of doing absolutely nothing? Let's see! Luigi survives yet another round by doing absolutely nothing. Mario, you are up next. Can Mario trick Bowser that he is actually Luigi with the L on his cap over here? And let's see. No! Bowser found out that it really is Mario, and we have a different kind of explosion over here. I really like how this explosion looks. It's very unique. And now it all comes down to Yoshi and Luigi, who will be the master of doing nothing over here. Yoshi pushes down the green switch, and... He survives! So Luigi now has a 50-50 chance of getting eliminated. Can Luigi survive another round by doing absolutely nothing, or will he be taken out now? He pushes down the yellow switch and... Luigi is eliminated! It looks like the winner of doing absolutely nothing in this minigame is Yoshi. Congratulations, Yoshi. Even though he has an L on his chest, he has a W in his heart. So it looks like Yoshi is up in first place now. And our characters are all just going to continue over here. Let's see what's going to happen. Man, and you skip from character to character so quickly. That's something that I don't think I'll be able to get over in this game. Like you just, as soon as you land there, like you don't even see the character turn around. Like that, you don't even see the character turn around. It just switches to the next character right away because it's the next character's turn. So at least our time spent on the board will be very short. Some of the mini games might be very long, especially some of the four player mini games. Let's see what's going to happen. It is Rapid River Race. Oh my goodness. Does this mean that we're just going to have a perfect tie over here if everyone does nothing? I think everyone's just going to tie. Yeah, because everyone should have the exact same obstacles, right? So everyone is just racing like this. And I think everyone's just gonna have a perfect eye. Yeah, they're just gonna all hit the same obstacles and avoid the same obstacles that they all avoid. They're all going to have a very slow time overall. 
But I think everyone is going to finish at the same time together. Okay, we are almost a quarter of the way through the race right now. And I think I'll just speed up the rest of the race because the rest of the race is just going to be the characters are always staying on the middle lane over here. And something that some people have been asking me, sometimes people ask, hey, how come sometimes you can speed up the video but your voice doesn't speed up? And the way that you can do that is if you record your voice on a separate audio track from the game, then you can actually speed up the game and the game audio, but your audio from your microphone is actually just playing at normal speed. So it's really useful for a situation like this. Wait, but if I remember correctly, in my video where I gave everyone the same inputs, was this a perfect tie or does a winner randomly get chosen? Let's see. Oh, everyone's in first, okay. If everyone does nothing, then everyone just ends up being in first like this. Wow, all the Luigi characters win. So everyone gets some money now. Everyone can afford this star. Okay, for some reason, now this is so strange. The board is incredibly laggy. Like, look, if I pause the game, if I pause the game, you can see that it's not laggy at all, but for some reason on the board, it's just incredibly laggy now on turn three of the game. I wonder what is happening here. This is so strange. I've never seen anything like this before. I'm actually so surprised that the game is just like randomly super laggy right now on turn three of the game. This is so weird. Why could this be happening? Like you can see if I pause the game, then the game is working fine. And I even went back to the village square to test if it is possible. I went back to village square and it wasn't laggy there. And I came back over here to the board. And again, just on the board, the game is super laggy here. I have no idea why this is happening. I've never seen anything like this before. I wonder if next turn it'll go back to normal. Okay, and our mini game is a great one over here, Dinger Derby. So if everyone's doing nothing, everyone is going to get a score of zero. But wait a minute. Does that mean that they're going to say that nobody wins? Because I think if everyone gets a score of zero, then the game is going to say everyone comes in fourth place and nobody gets any coins. If everyone gets at least a score of one and everyone has the same score, then everyone wins and everyone gets 10 coins. But on a lot of point mini games like this, if nobody gets any points at all, then nobody gets any coins once we return back to the board. So let's see what's going to happen here. Finish and what, does everyone lose? It's a tie. Okay, instead of saying everyone wins, it says it's a tie. And I think no one will get coins now, right? Yeah, nobody gets any coins. You just stare at our characters here. All right, now let's see what's happening in turn four. Okay, Luigi is eight away from the star, but he rolls just a five over here. And we quickly skip to Mario and the Luigi hat over here. Five from the star, rolls a nine. But all of our characters are doing nothing. So Luigi will, uh, not Luigi. So Mario will not purchase this star. Man, you get so many prompts asking if you really want to buy this star. But yeah, we are not buying the star. Everyone is doing nothing. Okay, Peach rolls a five. It's kind of, oh wow, all three characters were on the same spot over here. Kind of weird how Peach's hair cuts through her dress like that. Okay, and what is our next mini game over here? It is a two versus two mini game, and what will it be? Bobsled run, oh my goodness. Wait, if we don't mash the A button at the start, will we even move? No, we don't even move, we just stay here. Okay, so I don't know if the game is going to be stuck in this position now, or is this a mini game that at the end of three minutes, the game just immediately comes to an end and nobody wins. So let's come back in three minutes and let's see what happens. Approximately three minutes later. And look at this, there is a countdown over here, so it looks like the minigame is going to come to an end. And right at the three tie. minute mark, it's a tie. Yeah, quite the tie, we didn't even move. It's like the characters didn't even know that the minigame was starting. Wow, everyone actually gets five coins for that because it's a two versus two minigame and it's a tie. That's kind of surprising. Okay, and I love that Princess Peach is still in last place Luigi even guy. though everyone's doing absolutely nothing. Okay, and Luigi is of course not buying the star because everyone is doing absolutely nothing. And we're just making our way over here. Wow, you can't even go down the slide over here if you land on the event space there because there is no event space there. And nobody is buying anything from the shop, of course, because everyone is doing nothing. Oh, but when you reach the flower lottery, you have to pick the default option, whatever that is. Okay, so let's see. Mario plants a seed and it is either happy flower or Bowser flower. It is the happy flower. So Mario's heading down. I guess that's good for him because he could go and collect some more coins and he doesn't have to pass by Bowser. It's actually so tricky to not accidentally buy this star. It's so hard to not accidentally buy the star. Okay, and we've got a four-player minigame now, and the minigame is... Let's see. 
Goomba spotting. Okay, so everyone is going to guess that there are zero Goombas. What you're normally supposed to do in this mini game is you want to count how many Goombas there are and you want to press A every time a Goomba goes by. So yeah, everybody that's playing over here, everybody's like, what? Goombas? I don't see any Goombas, Mario. What are you talking about? There are zero Goombas. But the great thing about this is that it is a super fast mini game. We don't have to wait three minutes doing nothing for the mini game to come to an end. So everyone guesses zero, and since everyone guesses zero, I'm guessing everyone's in fourth. It'll say tie, and nobody gets any coins. That is my guess. Let's see. What happens? It's a tie. It's a tie, and I'm guessing nobody gets any coins because it's a four-player mini game, right? Let's see. Yeah, nobody gets any coins for that. Oh, and we are down to the last five turns now. Yoshi in first, Luigi in second. Peach isn't in last place. Oh, that's because Mario had to pay a few coins to the Goomba lottery over there. Okay, so let's see who is going to get chosen as the potential victor. Mario, what are they going to give Mario coins? An item, a triple dice block. Too bad that he can't use that because everyone's doing absolutely nothing. Okay, Luigi gets a nice big roll. But, unfortunately for him, he is not getting anything from the shop because he is doing absolutely nothing. At the flower lottery, he is going to choose the default seed. And he also gets the happy flower. I bet Princess Peach is going to get unlucky and get the Bowser flower because Peach just seems to get pretty unlucky over here. Okay, time for Mario Luigi to roll, and he gets just a four, and then it'll quickly swap to the next character, Princess Peach. Let's see, is she going to get unlucky at the flower lottery? Is she going to get the Bowser path, or will the Bowser path be saved for Yoshi? Let's see, what is it going to be, Princess Peach? Are you going to get Bowser or Happy Flower? Wow, she also gets the Happy Flower. Okay, so it looks like she isn't the unlucky one. So it looks like once Yoshi gets there, if Yoshi gets there, odds are that he reaches there. I think it's actually impossible for him to not reach. Once Yoshi gets there, he is going to get the Bowser path, unfortunately, for him. Okay, and we've got a four-player minigame, and it is... X-Ray Payday. Okay, another fast minigame. So what you want to do in this one is collect as many coins as possible. You want to open up the boxes that have either coins or money bags, and not the ones that have fists that punch you, or I guess not fists, boxing gloves. And you don't want to open up the ball bombs. If you open up the empty ones, nothing happens. But yeah, you want to get as many coins as possible. But all of our characters are doing nothing, so they are all just staring at these boxes as they go by. They're like, ah, I don't know about this box, I'm not going to open this one. Maybe I'll open the next box. And then the next box comes over and they think the same thing. But nobody opens any of the boxes, so everyone gets zero coins. And everyone is so sad about that. They're like, wow, I did no work and I didn't get paid. How unfair. Hey, go ahead, Luigi. Is Luigi passing by the Koopa Troopa? He is passing by the Koopa Troopa. Look at that. So Luigi got a bunch of extra coins there, but he's not in first place. Mario's about to pass by the Koopa Troopa. Peach, does she reach? Peach does pass by the Koopa Troopa, so she gets an extra 10 coins over here. Yoshi still is in first place, but... He hasn't paid any coins to the flower lottery yet, and he's going to have to pass by Bowser. Wait, he gets a three here, does he reach? Okay, he reaches the Goomba lottery over here, so he has to pay in 10 coins, and Yoshi's no longer in first place now. Luigi is in first place, rightfully taking his place at the throne as the king of doing nothing. Luigi, who is known for winning by doing absolutely nothing. And Yoshi is taking the Bowser path over there. So he might have to give a few coins to Bowser as he goes by over there. Okay, and we've got a two versus two minigame, and it is Burn Style. Wait a minute. Who's going to get out first? It looks like Team Luigi and Yoshi are out first because they're doing nothing. So they're just eliminated in the first round. The team on the left didn't have to do anything at all, and they win. Congratulations to Mario and Peach over here. Oh my goodness, in an unforeseen turn of events, Princess Peach actually moves up to first place over here. Who would have expected her to be in first place? But there are still the bonus stars. We don't know what is going to happen with the bonus stars. Anything can happen. There might be bonus stars for most event spaces, most Bowser spaces, most red spaces, and nobody would get any of those spaces. But, oh, and Mario's getting 10 coins over here, so that actually brings him into first place now. But there might be some bonus stars for most spaces traveled, least spaces traveled. So someone might actually get those bonus stars. Okay, and let's see what's going on over here. Is Yoshi reaching Bowser? 
Yoshi's passing by Bowser. Is he giving some coins? 19 coins! Yoshi's in last place and he has to give away so many coins. That is so incredibly sad for him. He is down to six coins. Mario in first place right now. Maybe Mario's in first place because he does have the best Luigi outfit. Okay, we've got a four player minigame and the minigame is... Bounce and Trounce! In this one, we actually have no idea who is going to win here. This one is going to be dependent on luck now. How are these cubes going to fall? Which one falls first? Let's see. Everyone's doing nothing. Everyone's just bouncing there. Are any of the cubes going to start falling? What's going on? Okay, there we go. The first cube is falling. Nobody falls. Oh! Princess Peach in last place, of course. Then Luigi. Now who's going to win? Mario or Yoshi? Let's see. Oh my goodness, the cubes are falling. Oh, it looks like Mario's cube falls and Yoshi wins this one. First place for Yoshi. Congratulations to Yoshi. Oh, there might also be a bonus star rich bonus who collected the most coins and also a mini game bonus star for who wins the most mini games. So we really don't know who is going to win this one over here. This is going to be wild. Okay, Luigi rolls just a one over here. Mario is close behind over here. I wonder if we'll see any duels at all. Let's see, where's that six take him? Oh, it looks like there's a duel now. So for the duel, the default amount of coins is just one. So we are going to have to have a one coin duel over here. And let's see what the duel is going to be. Hopefully it's the race car one. Okay, that is perfect because with the race car one, there is an obvious end. Oh, and there's a time limit of 60 seconds. I wonder if it's possible to avoid all the boosts and not reach the finish line before the timer runs out. That'd be really interesting to see, okay, but right now it looks like we are making pretty good pace over here. We're almost halfway through and we've still got well over 30 seconds left, but wait a minute, we're actually uh, missing a lot of these. Hopefully we hit some of these electric things over here, slow down a bit, okay. That doesn't slow you down much at all, my goodness, yeah, we are obviously reaching the end before the time runs out over here. And the competition is very neck and neck over here because it looks like both sides have the boosts and the obstacles in the exact same position. So they are completely tied over here. What's gonna happen? It should be a tie, right? Let's see. Okay, it says both characters win. So I guess both characters are just going to get their one coin back. Let's see. Yeah, Toad just says, let me return your coins. Both characters are like, I should have won that. Okay, Peach rolls a four. That brings her up here. Normally, that's a piranha plant spot. Normally, you'd be able to buy a strawberry over there. But that doesn't happen because all these spaces do nothing over here. And it is already time for our next minigame. I can't believe it's already turn nine. This is such a fast game. Man, when the spaces do nothing, you have a pretty fast game. Now, oh my goodness, and we have Dinger Derby again. The perfect minigame to have again. Yeah, because some of these minigames, like Dinger Derby is a very fast minigame, but there are some minigames where you just have to sit there for three minutes doing nothing. Those minigames are what makes this take very long, but a minigame like this goes by very quickly. Okay, so this minigame ends up being a tie, so nobody gets any coins again, and this is now the final turn of the game. It's actually quite unbelievable that this is already the final turn of the game. This is going by very, very quickly, and what's gonna happen? Oh my goodness, can you believe it? We are having another duel over here, okay, and the duel is between Luigi and Princess Peach. The duel is just for a single coin. Let's see what kind of duel we'll have. Wait a minute, if we have the TikTok clock minigame, that would actually be hilarious. It is! Okay, so even though Luigi will get eliminated first, It'll be on the same round. We'll see that Luigi does get knocked away first, but I think it's still a tie. It's a tie. Yeah, it still is a tie because both characters were eliminated on the same round. That is the most important thing. Yeah, so everyone just gets their coins back. Okay, now what about Mario? What are you gonna do? It'd be funny if he landed on the same spot as Luigi and Peach and we had another duel over here, but we're just making our way along over here. Is Peach landing on Mario? No, she passes right by him. What about Yoshi? Oh, he could reach the star, but he doesn't have enough coins, unfortunately. And he'd have to do nothing anyways. So, let's go to our final mini game and let's see who is going to be the winner of this board. It's everyone versus Mario in this final mini game, and the final mini game is... Look away! Mario is so lucky that he is going to get out everyone immediately in this minigame because everyone does nothing, so everyone just looks straight. Mario takes them all out right away. Congratulations, Mario. Man, you are lucky.
All right, so let's see who is going to be the winner over here. It all basically comes down to the bonus stars. If some people have the same number of bonus stars, then it comes down to coins. But let's see, what's the first bonus star? Mini game bonus. So who got first place in the most mini games? Is it going to be Mario or someone else? Let's see. Mario and Yoshi. Oh my goodness, both of them have one star each. Luigi and Peach currently have zero stars. What is the next bonus? Unlucky bonus that goes to nobody. Does this mean that Princess Peach is in last place or is Luigi in last place? I don't know who has more coins. So let's see. Luigi is actually in last place and now Yoshi is going to get eaten and Mario is going to win. Luigi who is known for being the king of doing absolutely nothing actually came in the last place in this event that's so sad and Mario dressed up like Luigi is actually the best doer of absolutely nothing. Congratulations to Mario. So even though Yoshi had the least coins he still came in second place because of that bonus star. He is so lucky. If the two bonus stars were most spaces traveled and least spaces traveled, those would have gone to Peach and Yoshi, and then Princess Peach actually would have come in first place in this board. I really recommend you watch my video where I closed half of Yoshi's Tropical Island so all players can only stay on the left island. Thank you so much for watching, have an amazing day, and take care everybody.